So right now, this is rapidly evolving in the field of ALL. It's a good thing because we have highly effective immunotherapies and novel therapies, well, immunotherapies such as CAR T cell and antibody-based therapies that now induce very deep remissions for patients, especially with B lineage acute lymphoblastic leukemia. So the role of transplant is rapidly evolving. And I would say that now more and more we're using measurable residual disease or MRD as the reason um, to take someone to transplant. With that, however, I think we have to be mindful that we have to have the resources to measure those the MRD appropriately, and we have to have access to these immunotherapies. So I think when we ask the question, who do you take to transplant, it really varies in terms of where you're positioned in the world and what access you have to those resources. But if you have access to these highly effective therapies and you can become MRD negative soon after induction therapy, I think there's a growing proportion of patients that we can wait on for transplant um, until perhaps second remission. I think for those patients now who have advanced disease, who in the past we were not able to get to transplant, now because of effective therapies such as CAR-T, that's another group of patients that we're now able to get to CAR T and then consolidate with transplant and those patients can end up having a much um, better outcome than we could have previously imagined.